All right, welcome back everyone to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about computer generated influencers. Now I'm sure we're all aware that technology is becoming super powerful now. We're heading into the age of artificial intelligence and the internet of things and all of this high class mumbo jumbo, right? Now most of us can't even comprehend half of this stuff. Like I remember watching the movie iRobot when I was like really small. I can't even remember the plot of the movie or anything about it, but I just remember that there was these really scary red robots and blue robots and and they really scared me all right uh, ever since then robots have just kind of spooked me a bit but um that's not to say i'm a caveman i am using social media and technology and all of that but um, I think I'm being replaced, dude, uh, unironically. Computer-generated influencers are making more money than ever. At a time when interacting safely with other humans can no longer be taken for granted, the appetite for digital spokespeople is accelerating. Developed by creative agencies, the biggest virtual influencers can attract lucrative deals. Okay, so here's a picture of a girl. Um, psych, this is not actually a real girl. This is a computer generated, um, influencer, right? So, um, you can, first off, you can stop simping or, I don't know, man, did you simp even harder for computer generated girls? So someone somewhere drew this up and made her into a social media influencer. And she's about to pass me in followers, believe it or not. She's got 300,000 followers on Instagram. Her name is Emma. And yeah, uh, pretty much a fake person is about to pass me who's generated by a computer. I I'm actually done, dude. This is nuts. Take a look. So virtual influencers are characters uh, created by digital means whose social media posts can simulate a life and story that users can follow and interact with. Sometimes studios might be behind these creations like Seraphine, who was revealed to be created by Riot Games. She's a playable character in the game and has her own story unfolding across Instagram and Twitter. Other known influencers include Lil Mike Keller, who has 2.8 million followers on Instagram, and Emma, who's worked with uh, Ikea and Celine. Okay, so this whole thing kind of operates on the crucial fact that most people, right, most of the viewers, they can't really meet these influencers. So uh, I don't like being called that, and I hardly influence anyone, to be honest, but that's the name they've given. So it's like, you're not likely to meet PewDiePie, right, ever in your entire life. Imagine if he was computer generated, dude, your entire life would probably fall apart. You'd be like, what? My life has been a lie, but you know, obviously he's not. That, that's what they want you to think, but but yeah, the, the way it works is that you can make multiple posts anywhere, anytime, in any location, doing anything with anyone, because it's all generated by a computer, right? That way, it's way more efficient than a human being, and it's hard to admit, but they could... They could literally take over. And when it looks so lifelike, right? I I is it really that different from a real person? I mean, sure, there, there is like a human aspect to influencers. Like a lot of people have emotions and stuff and, you know, all that, all of that jim jam. But there is a person behind this as well, right? They serve as the emotional aspect. Like when they post a caption on Instagram, there is a human controlling that. And yeah, I mean, co companies will still pay you for brand deals because, I mean, they don't care if you're real. They just want people to see their product and buy it. And if you have followers and you can get their product out there, you qualify. So this is literally nuts. You could code or you could code a person into existence now and make bank. And when it's a computer generated cute girl on Instagram, I mean, I mean, that, that's just the perfect formula, isn't it? So these influencers are designed in a way to kind of maximize their appeal to audiences. Um, they don't age and they can be in multiple places at once doing really interesting things. Even though they only exist online and virtually, uh, their stories are quite relatable still, which is why a lot of people find them. So according to virtualhumans.org, which is a website that tracks the industry, there are about 125 active virtual influencers at the moment, and more than 50 of these are debuted on social media in the 18 months to June. So investors are pretty keen on these uh, influencers. Superplastic, which is a company behind Janky and Googiemon, two popular influencers on Instagram, uh, they got $10 million in funding last August, and a Japanese company called Aw behind Ima, they got a million dollars in September. Okay, so these projects are being funded really well, and there is like a huge interest in these types of virtual influencers. 
But um, I- I'm not I'm not gonna lie that there-, there is like a creepy element to it. The fact that they're just like a perpetual figure, right? They don't age at all. Like imagine your favorite influencer just got frozen in time, and and he always did the stuff you want him to. He's like absolutely perfect. Oh, dude, that would just be so creepy. So here's her Instagram. You you can actually look it up. This is legitimately real. At least it says, I'm a virtual girl and I'm interested in Japanese culture, film, and art. So at least the people following her know, know that she's real because... I don't know, dude. Maybe that's the appeal. Maybe the simps are, are like hyper simping now because they're like, oh, I always chase these people that I can never get. Let me just embrace it, you know? <laughs> Real life influencers now have a new competition, virtual influencers. They're cheaper to work with than humans in the long term and are 100% controllable. Oh my God. So now they won't even need us, dude. Oh my God. It can appear in many places at once and most importantly, they never age or die. Guys, it's all over for me. I'm, I'm gonna be replaced by a robot, a computer-generated figure. God, oh no. The pandemic isn't a problem when you're computer-generated. So one of the people you saw in the video was Seraphine, who's actually a League of Legends character. Um, you know, from the game. So Seraphine's flowing pink hair and cat-themed Instagram posts had attracted thousands of fans when the news that she was created by Riot Games, the studio behind Smash It esports game League of Legends- Okay, calm down, dude. Sent her account viral. Now her follower count is nearly 400,000. They- they've passed me, dude. One of them has like 3 million. And she's making appearances to promote her music while most flesh and blood social media stars are stuck- stuck at home. Despite not being real, she still sometimes wears a mask. Ah, uh, this is what they must have meant by relatable. Oh my god, the, the virtual influencer was wearing a mask. Super relatable, guys. Virtual influencers, while fake, have real business potential, says Christopher Travers, the founder of virtualhumans.org. Oh my god, dude. The biggest influencers can attract brand partnerships and other lucrative deals with 2.8 million social media followers and a fee of about $8,500 per sponsored post. Little Michaela, a model who's done promotions for Calvin Klein, Klein Prada and other fashion bands is the industry's highest earner. On by estimates, Lil Michaela will make about 11.7 million for her creators this year. As the pandemic leads to the cancellation of product launches and sponsored travel, some human influencers are seeing their revenue streams dry up. Meanwhile, Lil Michaela recently debuted a music video at this year's online only Lollapalooza festival. Listen up, fellas, I've got a couple months left, Max. It's all over, dude. I'm gonna be replaced by Pegatron 9000. Don't subscribe to him, I swear to God. We gotta start a revolution, dude. Don't let them take over. Here you can see Emma just vibing. Um, over here it's kind of a, a bit more apparent that it's not real, but in all of the other pictures, um, I, 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 like, when I saw that thumbnail, right, I was like, yeah, I-, I couldn't tell. Like, just look at this picture. You cannot tell that that is not a real person, dude. Computers are insane now. Throw back to the t-shirt season when I cried over Astro Boy. Missing summer days already. You did not cry over Astro Boy. If you go to her Instagram, it it, it looks relatively normal, you know? Like a-, like a typical Instagram girl. Honestly, it's pretty amazing how all of this works. And I know a bunch of you may have the question, like, are you genuinely afraid, like, of being replaced. I I mean, of course not. It's nowhere near actually replacing people, but it it does seem like an addition, like an extra influencer or something. And and like, I don't think a computer generated influencer is out here talking about random stuff online, all right? Behind gameplay commentary, right? You can't even replace me, okay? Um, You may replace like those aesthetic girls, you know, on YouTube who are like practically robots anyways, like, oh, here's my perfect morning routine. And they're just like instantly hyper productive, like straight up. I wake up and, and you know, first I, I think some happy thoughts. I look out the window and pull my curtains and, and then and then I exercise for 60 minutes. Um, I take I take a shower. I do yoga. Uh, the, the yoga is like a prime one, you know. I water my plants. I read a book. I start studying. And then I eat some cake because I'm so quirky and I, I don't care about my health, right? And, and, and like, bruh, y- you get up and you grab your phone and you take a poop, all right? Let's be real. Those type of people that are practically robots anyways, they can probably be replaced. But I think the people who have like a human element in their content and stuff, 
that far exceeds anything, right? A computer can program only so much, right? But that's just my opinion for now. Um, let me know what you guys think because this is definitely a very interesting topic. I wouldn't say like it's def definitively like positive or negative. It's just really interesting. Honestly, I'm really wondering what you guys are going to say in the comments. So be sure to leave a comment expressing your thoughts about this. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for more videos. Tune in tomorrow for another episode video and stay awesome everybody don't worry i won't leave you and i won't be replaced i swear to god is that okay pegatron 9000 can i can i can i see my family now is that what is it was that okay no no okay bye bye <laughs>